Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump make their final case to voters in several key states one day before Election Day. Trump criticized the FBI's decision to exonerate Clinton over her email controversy. This is a rigged system. Hillary Clinton is guilty. She knows it. The FBI knows it. After reviewing thousands of newly discovered Clinton emails, FBI Director James Comey penned another letter to Congress saying investigators are standing by their July decision not to bring charges against Clinton. Clinton did not mention the FBI development as she rallied support in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Hampshire. I really believe that America's best years are still ahead of us. Donald Trump campaigns in five states today. That includes the crucial states of Florida and Pennsylvania. Hillary Clinton will also be in Pennsylvania. Thousands of people here in the Treasure Valley have already cast their vote. Many more will do the same thing tomorrow. But a lot of myths surround the voting process. Myths that may even keep some away from the polls. KBY 2's Kelsey McFarlane clears up some misconceptions. Voting, the driving force behind democracy and something many consider a civic duty. But election officials say voters still have lots of questions about the centuries-old process. Let's start with party affiliation, which is required in order to register to vote. Even if you don't affiliate, you have to make that known. However, it has no impact on voting in the general election. If you're affiliated as a Democrat or Republican, feel free to cross party lines with your vote. Taking a look at the ballot, let's make sure your vote will be counted. Ada and Canyon counties use optical scan ballots rather than paper ballots. To vote, you must completely fill out the oval or square on your ballot. If you're writing in a candidate, make sure you also fill out the oval or square next to the write-in space. You also don't have to vote in every race. Election officials say if you get to a race and you're not sure or don't like the candidates, you can skip it. The races you do vote on will still be counted. And finally, the age-old myth that your vote doesn't count. Despite the Electoral College electing the president directly, your vote is always counted. It's just counted in complex ways that differ by election, state, and region. There are two other important things to note. In Idaho, you can register to vote on Election Day. And if you're already registered but didn't vote in a primary, that's okay. You can still vote in the general election. Now, today, our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, will hold a live roundtable discussion on what to expect on Election Day. Our national correspondents will provide in-depth analysis, and you'll hear from undecided voters in key battleground states. This will stream live on our website, kbi2.com, starting at 5 o'clock. We'll also carry this as a Facebook Live event on our KBI2 Facebook page. 